Some of you um, will remember this video when I talked about the monkey custom exhaust. But it's going to be the exhaust is the problem. Because if you look at the exhaust here, the way it just goes from the uh, engine down and then it, it loops around and then it just follows that. And this heat shield here is, is iconic. So any exhaust that I get for it has got to have something similar to this because all the exhausts currently it just goes down from the cylinder head and it goes to there and it's ugly or they go actually under I, I won't have that it's gotta be something that actually titanium goes from there and does that loop and then follows the engine and then goes into a heat shield and then into a nice exhaust so imagine all that in titanium so I got in contact with um, Good Fabs, which I've done a couple of uh, videos with them before. They are the people who do uh, F1 exhausts, and then they set up um, its GF Moto for their um, motorcycle exhaust division. Um, I can't talk much about who they work for, but they allowed me to show you these two systems here. One is for NASCAR, this one here. And the other one is a historic Honda F1 V8 system and all this weighs nothing. So I explained to them the, um, my vision regarding the exhaust and the type of material which is obviously titanium. Then they came up with some drawings, some CAD drawings, they sent it to me, we adjusted them, we modified them and then we agreed on a, uh, an overall design. The first process is laser scanning, so they can get all the angles right, the uh, shape, and um, so on. I specified pie cuts because I don't want any, any bending on the titanium. I just wanted it to look old school and to show the craftsmanship. The skill required to weld that titanium is just insane. Just look how many uh, pieces are required to achieve a uh, bend. They then uh, created a tool to fit inside the silencer while welding it.
machining the uh, end cap from a solid billet of aluminium, I think it took about eight hours. And finally etching the RJ logo on the heat shield. 